Hey y'all, I'm back again with the foolishness. Okay, so I don't, I don't um detangled those two sections over there. So I got two more sections left, y'all. Oh, so I figured, hey, I ain't make no video, so y'all gonna see me this week, girl. Y'all go see me, okay? Anyways, y'all, I need to go ahead and show y'all this here bonnet because it's an old. Well, they're not old bonnet. It's, it's old. It's on the website, but this is. Look at this purple, y'all. Purple, beautiful purple underneath just just beautiful this is a <laughs> african print bonnet that i have let me put it on my head mm -hmm. let me put it on my head i was just trying to see make sure i ain't mess up my sections for you guys to see look how pretty this bonnet is y'all beautiful beautiful i love y'all i like this bonnet like i don't even like the color purple but it's something about this bonnet that's like ooh royalty royalty money nah i don't know about all that but uh anyways it's beautiful it is on my website now shop with me y'all goldencreations.webs.com my bonnets will grow your hair gentle with gentle hair care practices and all of that good stuff combined with my bonnets my bonnets i ain't talking about nobody else buddy because my buns are covered okay I, I, I pray for my bunnets. I pray that whoever touches my bunnets, whoever my have my bunnet touches, it, it, it gives them flourishing, healthy, hell of hell, okay? And I'm for real. I'm for real. I do. I pray for God to grow my hair and to help grow whoever hair that wears one of my buns because I know the struggle is real, especially if you're trying to grow your hair. Now, if you ain't trying to grow your hair, then I'm not talking to you, okay? If you prefer to wear your old boosted fade, then have that, and okay? Have fun with your little boosted fade, okay? Some of y'all look real cute, though, too. Some with your little boosted fade. And anyway, uh... Uh, I was just letting y'all know that this bunny is available now on my website. It's called the African Print. Some child, purple African. You know, you'll know it when you see it because it's the only one like it on my website. So, anyways, y'all, check that bunny out. And let me get on to, you know, talking to y'all about stuff, y'all. This here is dry. Did I? I didn't cuss. I said this here. <laughs> this here is dry. And I need to moisturize it, y'all, with my Elastic QP. Uh, I don't know what it is because, like I said, Nivea told the label off. And we just going to put that in the little section that I might need. Oh, that ain't even enough, child. I moisturize it before I play with it. I learned, I've learned to take extra steps in my hair care process in order to achieve the hair that I desire, okay? I've learned to take those extra steps because back in the day, my hair just like this. I wouldn't have moisturized it before I combed it. I would have just popped them naps and combed it and would have been done with. Okay, I don't, I didn't take like extra steps like this to moisturize it. We didn't even use moisturizer back in the day. We just had hair grease and that was it. You know, we might have had some African rose scalp oil or uh, some of that. We didn't, we didn't have no moisturizer. And if we did, ain't nobody tell us to use it. You know, ain't nobody say, girl, you better moisturize that hair before you comb it. Don't comb your hair when it's dry. Ain't nobody ever tell me that. We was always known that water is not your friend. Because if you jump in that pool, honey, you're going to have a time and your hair going to draw up to your scalp and you ain't going to even be able to get it loose. You're going to have to get it cut out. That's what I was told about water. Water was the number one enemy to black hair. And that is a lie, okay? That's a lie. Water is your hair's friend. If you use it the way that it's supposed to be used to help nourish and, you know, get this hair moisturized and all just by looking at this here, just me doing this with my hands, y'all see what that moisturizer just did to that section alone. My hair don't look as dry as it did and it looks a little bit better than just would have been, you know, just me getting that comb and popping it through them naps right so you don't want to do that if your hair nappy girl and you you dread taking it out taking it loose get you you got to get the moisturizer to help you out girl massage it through there even through these little pieces right here i can't get in there so that's why i got my s curl spray as a backup for the for that section in there that's text lax or well, that's my new girl um this extra thick so I can't get that cream to, to penetrate through that thickness, girl. I just get the little extra spray and spray it through there. And honey, let it let it marinate for a little bit. And then it'll it'll get, you know what I'm saying? It'll get a little smooth or whatever. Get a little moist. And then I'll be able to work with it. 
It'll be pliable. Is that the word, y'all? Pliable. <laughs> Able to move where I needed to move it. So, that is what I'm doing, y'all. See, I'm using two moisturizers for my good, okay? Because I have two different textures of hair. That thicker texture of hair um, needs a little bit more TLC. Not a little bit more TLC. A little bit more wetness because it's so thick and in the wet uh s curl spray is liquid versus cream liquid versus cream um the liquid will penetrate through the the thick part of my hair a little bit better to so that way i can um get my detangling process a little bit better y'all now this is something i didn't do back in the day like i said y'all who did this nobody my mama ain't never do this in my hair she put some grease on it she might have added some more grease that blue magic which is, which is fine if you use Blue Magic. I ain't hating, but I'm saying you need to also moisturize your hair. And grease is not a moisturizer. Grease is just grease. <laughs> if anything, it's going to cover all your strands and you don't need that, okay? But um, I ain't saying don't use grease because I use grease in a heartbeat. I like grease, but I ain't going to cover my hair with it um, just to detangle it. But I do use grease now. I like grease. I'm not an anti-grease freak like a lot of people are. Don't put grease in your hair, child. Whatever gonna make this network network, <laughs> I'ma do it. If it's gonna if it's gonna be to my benefit, then I'm gonna do whatever it takes for my hair to flourish. Okay, okay. I'm not bougie when it comes to my hair. Like, I ain't putting that in my hair unless it's something that don't work for me. Okay, now I don't, I ain't no guinea pig neither. I ain't gonna experiment with everything on the market. I'ma experiment with a lot of stuff. But if it's something that just looks like, girl, you better not try that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Everything for your hair now. Especially if it's a chemical. Oh, no. A color. Oh, no. Bad as I want me some red hair sometimes. Or uh, some uh, burgundy. Or some... Uh, I want to be trying stuff. Girl, when I want to try stuff like that, when I get that urge, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy me some weave, okay? Because I ain't going to... I ain't gonna lie. I, if I put a, a, a color in my hair, I, I don't think it's gonna do good like that. Like, if I have to lift my hair to get a color, it ain't gonna do good. Because then I'm gonna be so mad that I did that. <laughs> Girl, you already got a relaxer. Oh, I'm gonna be extra, extra. I have to be extra, extra careful with it. I'm already extra careful enough. Then I think I have to be twice as extra as I am now. Uh-uh, girl. I ain't got that kind of time or patience in my life to be extra, extra, extra careful. So... I just go with the flow with what I know, doing this one right here, and um, using my black now. Uh, a girl will wear black now. I will wear black, uh, cause that's about that's my color, and that just be like a semi-permanent black for relaxed hair. I love it. Um, but you know, listen, you know who hair can look like they can withstand anything. They throw at it, seem like sweet sparkle. That is my girl. That is my girl. Her hair is like. She can do anything to her hair and she still got hair. It don't, it don't never, like, do nothing bad. If I did that in my hair, my hair would be ready on this flow right now, okay? Like, right now. If y'all have not checked out Sweet Sparkle, y'all should know her by now all over YouTube. Um, Sweet Sparkle, she has this beautiful, thick, relaxed hair, and it's just so beautiful. She do anything. She cut her hair and it grow back so fast, and she color her hair and it don't, you know, she don't never have no side effects. I'm low-key jealous, girl. I like your hair. And, and and then she relax her hair every, like, five to six weeks. I mean, her hair look good. If I relax my hair every five to six weeks, my hair is going to be falling out like crazy. It just, see, that just goes to show you different people have different results. Different people can handle their hair different ways. Everything ain't for everybody. And look at me, relaxing my hair six months. <laughs> but, you know, and, and her hair grows and grows and grows like wildflowers. And uh, it's very, very beautiful. And she got this red color in it, child. So pretty. And uh, she just recently cut her hair. Girl, you don't make me mad. I was mad you don't cut your hair. But it's growing back like she ain't never cut it, child. So I'm like, child, if I chop my hair off, well, it's going to be 40 days and 40 nights trying to grow this stuff back. I ain't got that type of time or that, that type of courage. I don't think I'm going to ever be to a point in my life where I just want to 
have short hair. I've always wanted long hair. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted long hair. And I've always wanted to know, how do you get your hair so long? Look, my sisters, I have two sisters. That's That might be part of the reason why I've always wanted long hair. Because I have two sisters that have long hair. Don't got nothing to do with me, y'all. I know a lot of people say things hereditary, but listen, it's different things that's hereditary that skips certain folk in the family, okay? Like, my mom and them got, uh, some of, some of the people in your family might have big boobs. Some people might not. You didn't get that gene, okay? Some of the people in your family might got big noses. I got that gene. My whole family got big old noses, big, even bigger than mine, and I just got that gene, okay? Um... Some of the people in my family don't got no booty. <laughs> and I got a booty, okay? It just skip over. So just don't don't just think just because your sister or your cousin or your even your mama got long hair on me, you gonna have long hair. If you ain't got it, it just ain't in your gene to have it, okay? Now your children, because you ain't get long hair on me, your children ain't gonna get long hair. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of people say, Oh, hair long having long hair is genetics, girl. I'm going to tell you, having long hair don't necessarily have to be genetic. Just because your mama and them bald head don't mean you got to be bald head and then you black. Like, my mama ain't got no hair, so I ain't going to have no hair either. Girl, you better get in that kitchen and mix you up a potion <laughs> or something. <laughs> you better get in there and try to do something. Else. Start taking care of your hair better and I bet you, you'll, uh, you'll break that laugh. Saying that it's, it's hereditary. Now, some things are genetic. Some things are genetics, and some of your family members might have some hair traits that's genetics. You just thin hair, fine hair, thick hair. Now, I do believe that one is real deal. Uh, genetic. Oh, look at this girl. Let me see my new girl. Let me see my new girl. There you go. There we go. Right there. So if I was a big chop today, I'm gonna look like this. Ah, no! Somebody just messaged me. Who messaging me? Happy Friday. Take a look. Look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Ah! Oh, that that was a message from my friend who going to the Pretty Pearls and Clutches um Women's Empowerment. Right? Oh, I'm excited now. She just messaged me. Oh. So y'all had to take a break from making bonnets to start making some videos. If you not making cabbage, I'm not coming for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Y'all, my children get on my last day. Well, then don't come. I ain't gonna make no cabbage. Y'all trying to work me. Cabbage ain't hard to make, though. I can make cabbage easy. But golly, you gotta thread me. That pooby, y'all. Talk about if I ain't making no cabbage, she ain't coming. She already talked. She done thread me with cabbage and green bean casserole. Who she think I'm finna go in the kitchen to be? You're going to either get one or the other. You're going to get cabbage or you're going to get green bean casserole. So I think I'm going to just make the cabbage. Because everybody eat cabbage. Everybody don't eat green bean casserole. But I do. I might make a little small one. Because I love green bean casserole. Child, I'm not finna be in no kitchen this year. I'm telling you the truth. Okay? Not. Not finna. Alright, y'all. I got that section detangled. Oh. Got that section detangled. So we on the road, y'all. That's a part three. We got one more section to go. That's how much hair came out of that section. Did I do it? That's how much hair came out of that section. And off to twisting it back up and putting it up. This section last. Don't know if I'm gonna make a video about that and come y'all and talk about nothing or just keep it uh come back with it all comb that. I don't know. Depends on what how much talking I got on my chest, okay? Anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching and coming to me and talk about nothing, alright? Love y'all. Bye. Oh, I'll let y'all later. <laughs>